What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about why some players miss catch and shoot shots. Just want to give you guys a heads up that these are just basic tips, so try not to expect a super mind blowing revelation here, but trust me, I'll still make it as informative as possible. So now let's get right into it. So let's get this one really straight to the point. Number one mistake players do is some players don't let the catch animation finish first before taking the shot. I know some of you guys have an idea about it already. The different catches give you different flow on your jump shots resulting to inconsistent timing which means more misses. But with this one here, I'll try to dig deeper into it so you guys can understand more what's really happening, like why the flow is different. So the most important fact that you need to know is, no matter if it's a steady catch or a moving catch, the speed of the shot meter remains the same. And here you can see that both meters start here, and they both finished at the same time. So now I might ask, shoots, since the shot meter speed remains the same, so what makes this one here confusing to some players? <laughs> That's a really good question. So imagine you don't have shot meter, let's cover this one. You wouldn't know that the shot timing already started at this point. You'll have an impression that it'll start later just about here. So that will kind of mess up your timing. So for example, your muscle memory remembers that your shot timing is half a second. So if the start of the timer changes, that will kind of mess up your shot. So to get back to the point of the video, if the defender is not in front of you or the shot is not that rushed, I highly advise to finish the catch animation first before taking the shot. In that way, the flow will be better. If you shoot straight away, if you don't have the meter, it's hard to tell when does the timer start. I know you can just refer to the visual cue like the flick of the wrist, but it's harder to do that if the timing is off. That's even the reason why hop jumpers or turnaround fadeaways are harder to hit. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.